Hello guys, I am Pronoops and back with you with a new video about Rise of Empire, Ice and Fire through which I will discuss with you some of the best cavalry combinations especially for non spender. I know there is a chart there available there and everyone goes through it but that chart is typically basically not made for especially for non spenders. Yes guys, uh, because you know that uh, no, uh, non spender cannot focus on all the heroes at a time but if you are a spender you can go by that chart you can get all the season heroes you can max them do anything whatever you wish but as a non, non spender it is like you need to focus on some of the certain heroes so first of all i am discussing about basics then baby then in this video only i will move to season 1 season 2 season 3 and season 4 and at the same time even eden 2 so the first combination if I tell you the basic combination like uh, the simple orange heroes not including any season heroes I think that most of the people has those heroes too like you might have Orochi, Dual Blade, then Hurricane, Heaven, Rogue, North Freak so all of this type of uh, heroes you might have in the castle or even if you don't have those heroes I am sure that you will get till S1 ends because if you are in a good alliance it is like uh, uh, they will be giving you these heroes through that uh, reward interface season RO, when ROC season ends you know they give the rewards you can get from them okay so let us talk about the first one the, so if I talk about first one then that will be with you is Orochi dual blade and at the same time either heaven or hurricane so yeah, a lot of guys questions like why are you putting Oroche in the first place not North Rig or any other heroes. Yeah, so if I tell you the perfect combination also stands with North Rage. Since you can see the skills that uh, two skills which both heroes have the seventh and sixth skill both have same but yeah, you can prefer North Rig. But I found Origi more and more suitable in battle against those heroes and as compared to North Rake. So the first one which I can tell, suggest to you is like Origi, Dual Blade and either Hurricane or Heaven. And one more thing guys. You should put Origi in the first position, Dual Blade in the second and at the end you should put either heaven or hurricane depend because of the range you know that the range differs among different heroes and i also know not much people put out much effort on that that what is the range some people just put out the heroes wherever they want no you should be like watching out the range available with their second skill fifth skill and the eighth skill you can see effective range so when there is a range two then they can be put out in the front row three four like in the mid row and if it has five range then that's a perfect hero for the back row so you should keep all these things in mind so let us move to our second configuration the second one if i tell you will be like north rage then rogue i haven't got him yet and the third one is either heaven or hurricane at the end but guys uh, wait a minute i know that you might be thinking now which one should i use so i will tell you you should use north rake rogue and our heaven or hurricane because north rake has ability to deal more and more damages like 441 percent damage uh, 646 percent damage and here too it has like 420 percent damage sorry no it's more yeah maybe like 400 something like that but uh, at the same time you might be also thinking what should i use what should i not use this hero uh, this combination in the first place so when you go and compare it with our the second combination of Orochi you will find that C has also damages like that yes and at the, si at the same time there are a lot of skills available there too so when we talk about two different combinations like uh, then 
द फर्स्ट हीरोज विच स्टैंड अ परफेक्ट इज ऑरिजी बट द वाट अबाउट द अदर टू हीरोज मेन थिंग इज लाइक लास्ट वी शुड लीव आउट द लास्ट सेक्शन वी शुड लीव आउट द हेबन एंड हेरिकेन बिकॉज दैट इज द परफेक्ट एट द एंड रो सो देन यू शुड जस्ट कंपेयर द फर्स्ट हीरोज और द सेकेंड हीरो सो फर्स्ट हीरोज वेन बी कंपेयर लाइक ऑरुचि बोन और अचीव वॉन बाई सम पॉइंट्स बट लेट इज कंपेयर आवर सेकेंड हीरो वाई वी शुड यूज रॉच प्रेफरेबली देन डुअल ब्लेड देन यू विल फाइंड दैट सी हैज ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द स्किल्स लाइक डूइंग डैमेजेस लाइक थ्री फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट और मे बी इवन मोर डैमेजेस सी कैन डू और यस मैक्स इज थ्री फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट डैमेज देन थर्टी परसेंट चांस टू डील फोर हंड्रेड परसेंट डैमेज and 50% chance to do 190% damage to two random enemy squad we should also see out what's their effective range and what's their target so we have found that she can hit like 2 to 1 targets and some damages also see prefer but what about rogue when we moved rogue his effective range is 4 3 and 4 when we talk about what about the damages then he ha- he includes preparation skill first four turn of battle two random enemy squad deal minus 35% less combat skill damage so you will receive less damage compared to what they can give you what the two random enemy squads can give you that's a big big benefit the third the second thing guys 40% chance to attack two times each attack randomly selects an enemy squad within range dealing 369% see 40% chance to attack two times you can attack continuously two times that's a 40% chance each attack each attack randomly selects an enemy squads within range dealing 369% damage and at last we found that 30% chance to deal 251.5% damage to two random squad within range making them take 21% more skill damage so he has like more and more damages it can provide to the enemy that is why we are preferring this hero instead of dual blade and at last you know the best one was heaven or hurricane we can put it out at the any space so guys what's the best combo here is our north rake rogue uh, and heaven or hurricane second one is Aruchi, DB, and Heaven or Hurricane. Now let's move about Season One. What about the heroes which you have got in Season One? So there were two heroes. If you had put out your mind on it, one was Ebony Knight, and second one was Wolfwalk. Basically, if I say uh, S one heroes really not good, you should never go for them. Like even I have got it, but yeah. I haven't worked much on it. I thought that she will be good, but uh, later on I realized I have seen the skills of S two heroes and found out that yes, that's pretty cool. I can I think that I should go with the S two heroes better than S one heroes. So, if you are planning planning to use your super equipment ticket in S one season, so leave it. I will completely tell you leave those heroes and move to S two. uh for cavalry if i tell you really i tried my best to get any of the cavalry hero but i never got them uh, like i tried two times uh with more than 250 cards to get uh, uh, immortal but i have and got him i have got him with uh, the other thing with the shards with the fragments you can see here too uh, currently i'm working on inquisitor and i have got him to with the fragments here yeah. so what about the perfect combination so the perfect combination is bq rogen and m mortal so let's move first of all to bq when you go and see their skill c has an effective range of 2 that perfectly means that c is just suited for the front row hero what about her damages and skills you can check it out c has a splattering state and lot of other things too you can check it out by yourself i am not going to discuss much in this video but we will talk about all these things in my upcoming videos of heroes and their skills so guys this was beast queen the second one as i have told you rogen blade c is uh, best suited for the 
mid row heroes like she has an effective range of four that means uh, she will have target all the enemy squad and you can see she has a combat skill like 12 percent chance to remove all defub all debuffs of friendly cavalries and archers including debuffs from pre-battle skills and give their basic attack 25% chance to turn to cause one turn separation too. So there is a small chance like when enemy attacks you, you know that your troops might be suppressed, might be silenced. There are a lot of skills which can take effect against your troops. So she can help you uh, getting out of those debuffs, take, getting out of those silence, suppressed or like a uh, You can say like uh, um, uh, dealing minus 31% damage which we have seen in our rogue which was like if he supports your troops and then it can be like minus 31% damage or like that. So it will be really really helpful for you when hero is leading cavalry but at the same time you should keep in mind your hero should be leading cavalry not any other troops then only he can remove the debuffs the second one is skill is like three random friendly squad within effective range like first three turns increase battle speed of all friendly squad by 10 see battle speed and has 25 chance to deal two basic attack each turn guys guys wait a second check out this skill this is one of the best skill which i have found till now what they have written increase battle speed of all friendly squad this if i tell you even this hero will help you during roc battle when even you are leading your footman to take the tiles because this hero can help you increase your battle speed by 100 but does this mean what does battle speed mean Battle speed means combat speed like how fast your go troops go and come and attack like that See this troop is giving you all friendly squad battle speed by 100 and has 70 chance to deal two basic attacks to each turn That's really great. So I think that will be 70% chance not 70. That's their mistake the second thing guys she has all preparation skill. If I talk about Rojan Blade, then you can compare the Rojan Blade with the hidden hero Avalanche. Until Avalanche come in your castle, you can keep Rojan Blade with you because she has all the three skills, which is a preparation skill, which and that preparation skill is too rare to find in the different heroes. Like see the last skill. During battle, whenever two random enemy squad take damage. They take 12% extra damage, maximum 5 stacks. So guys, 5 stacks, what does this mean? Like stacks means like that will be compiled, that will be combined. So 12% into 5, maximum 60% they can take extra damage from you. That is like a great benefit for you, your all other marches too. That is why I prefer this hero in the middle position. And there should be no, no, no objection that at the last row, why do we use M Mortal? Yes, guys. He has like, first skill is status skill, which is also found in Avalanche. And it increases 80% damage for the hero that is in. So it has more ch chances of damage. The second thing is like, cavalry speed like it can increase your 100 cavalry speed too the third thing is like uh, one enemy random squad can be attacked by him after a normal attack there is 34 percent chance to deal 465 percent damage to one enemy squad within the range and give the silence status to the enemy squad unable use combat skill for one turn if your enemy has uh, like if your enemy hero has combat skill he can't be able to use them for one turn if this hero attacks and hits them and the last skill is like after a normal attack there is 40% chance to cause two attacks on a random enemy squad within the range each attack causing 142% damage. Each attack is an independent calculation so they are not dependent on others. Those all are independent and that will also give you great benefit. 
now if we talk about our first combination that was uh, best combination first was like uh, north rage rogue and heaven or hurricane the second one was orochi dual blade and immortal if we talk about the third one then that was uh, bq rojin and immortal so bq and immortal can be found in season 2 and this other one can uh, that is rojin can be found in season 3 if we talk about mood s3 heroes uh, yes three is going to start soon and we have got them too uh, one is you can see this living saint maybe this warlord too we are going to get three th three cavalry heroes this season and rojan blade uh, so what about scribe breaker is archer one and the other other all three heroes are archer one bleeding steed and the others bleeding oh sorry bleeding bleeding is footman so let's move to s3 heroes i have already shown you that the best s3 cavalry hero was like uh, none other than rojan blade because he has uh, some preparation skill which can give the benefit for your troops only your other troops can be more powerful she is also one of the back leading heroes like you can use her in the back row but i do not uh, prefer her against uh, immortal but yes if you have other heroes with you then you can go with her and with immortal like i don't have season 4 heroes to get you combine and move you some best uh, combination let's move to my other castle other farm castle in the, the another state let's move there so now i'm going to discuss the last combination for eden like if i talk about uh, other combinations uh, for s4 till s4 the best will be like i have already told you bq rojan and immortal beast q rojan blade and immortal that will be even preferred till s4 yeah some heroes can replace them but however uh, if you want to get better and better hero during eden then you should wait okay guys let's talk about eden now what can be the best heroes for you so the first one which i would recommend you is none other than army breaker for the first row if you go and check out her skill like she has an effective range of three that means two of the enemy squads will will be in her range she has a combat skill which can even affect your friendly squads and at last she has like two random enemy squad with effective range but about cavalry speed she can give you just 20 cavalry speed not much however that is also good like we will talk about we will even check about our other hero in this combination so yeah first of all talk about what is the combination so army breaker son of ragnar and if I talk about last hero, then the last hero is none other than Avalanche. She has like effective range of 5. She has even a status skill too. Yeah, let us first of all discuss about our army breaker. When I moved and watched out an army breaker, it was like 55% chance to recover some troops for two friendly squad within range. 35.5% recovery rate and remove debuff so yeah you can see this debuff we even had found in the the other heroes that was i think rojan blade that is why we are preferring this too if you want to remove rojan blade now you can remove them but i don't think that that will be preferable too because we have put the rojan blade in the middle hero but yeah if we try to put this in the mid we can put but for middle we already have the our other hero which i have told you the other hero is son of ragnar we can put it out in the mid row but yeah yes that is why we are putting it in the front row so let's move more about his other skills like he has 30 percent chance to deal make all friendly scores have 35 percent damage to enter in evasion status when talking the uh, when taking the next three damage and increases 20 even might and resistance for two turns you can see 30 percent chance to make all friendly squad have 33 percent of uh, taking evasion damage so you can see 30 percent chance up to maximum 60 percent uh, chance of entering evasion status and even at the same time 40 percent 
47% mite and resistance for two turns that will be a great benefit for all your squads it can be this effect will be for all your squads and at last guys the her last skill is like 40% chance to silence two random enemy squad within range and deal minus 20% lesser damage for two turns to minus 20% lesser damage that will also be a great thing guys like you can deal this can help your squads to 40% chance to silence two random enemy squad within range and deal minus 20% lesser lesser damage for two turns that will be a great thing since they have been silenced they even won't be able to attack the other turns and even when they attack for the next two turns their damage will be lower Let's move out to our la uh, second hero for this uh, range that was Ragnar. I th hope that if you have reached it and you are really familiar with Ragnar, he has effective range of 5, like 40% chance to attack one random enemy squad within range two times each time, dealing 142% damage randomly target on every attack. Like it doesn't have any restriction that it will attack one turn two turn three turn no it will attack any turn until and unless uh, his combat skill has been silenced uh, until and unless his combat skill has been stopped so it can attack for every turn but his other skill on the first three turn two random enemy squad within range damage minus 12 percent on turn four two random enemy squad within range damage minus 12 percent on turn four these squads become confused attack and coast skill on random targets for two turns that's preferably one of the best skill with this hero you can see two random enemy squad within range damage like minus 12 percent on turn four these squads become again those squads will be confused attack and coast skill on random targets for two turns that will be a great thing and her and his last skill is like all friendly squad deal plus 25 percent damage to silence disarmed suppressed and confused enemy squad all friendly squad deal 25 percent damage to silence disarm suppress and if your uh, heroes had uh, skills like this all things and they have used it on the enemy heroes then that will be like Will, uh, your troops will deal 25% damage to those troops. Enemy squads have 12% chance to extend one turn duration when silenced, disarmed, suppressed or confused. Enemy squad have 12% chance to extend one turn duration. That will be also good somehow. That is why we are putting it at the second place. And the final place, Avalanche. She is even the best hero for cavalry for taking the tiles of enemy. You can see the... She has 300 demolition power value too, through which you can do more and more damage to the enemy tiles. You know to take enemy tiles in one hit we need 500 demolition value and for that demolition value you need really footman. But if you get this avalanche you can get them. Hero squad has 20% uh, increased cavalry might and resistance. Those things are not to talk. Um, he has like just simple thing 60% chance to deal 226% damage to multiple enemy targets 2 targets then 1 turn preparation 40% chance to deal 243.5% damage to 1 random enemy squad within range and 60% chance to deal 122% damage to the enemy back row squad making them suppressed and cannot take action for one turn so till now guys we were watching like either they are attacking all the three row and if they are attacking two row they are attacking randomly but here we have found one special skill in avalanche that he he will damage to two random en enemy squad at the same time like first will be getting 243.5 percent damage and second will be getting maximum up to 310 percent damage and that will be his back row you know guys the back row heroes has the best skill and you are going to get give him direct damage without knowing them that will be big benefit like they are knowing that if they do not know uh, avalanche west they might be thinking that yes avalanche cannot uh, avalanche may or may not attack my last row but at the same time if even it attacks the last row you know it can deal maximum of 900% damage do you have seen any other hero doing 900% damage in one turn no surely no any hero can do this 
दैट इज वाई बी प्रेफर एवलांची मोड एंड लास्ट इज लाइक इन कॉम्बैट सेल्फ स्क्वाड गेंस द कलैरिटी स्टेटस इम्यून टू साइलेंस जैसम योर सेल्फ स्क्वाड विल गेन सम कलैरिटी स्टेटस लाइक कन्फ्यूज गेन थर्टी थ्री परसेंट माइट इंक्रीज डील ट्वेल्व परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा डैमेज सो इम्यून टू डो जीस डिस इफेक्ट्स दिस इफेक्ट्स वी हैव टॉक लाइक इट हैज साइलेंस जैसा सपरेशन एंड कन्फ्यूजन एंड Against them, you will get like thirty-three percent might increase, deal twelve percent additional damage. Too. So, guys, this was up for today's video. Let us uh, recapitulate whatever we have talked. We have talked about one of the best in uh, sorry cavalry for before season one. That was North Rake, Rogue, Heaven or Hurricane. The second one was Orochi. Dual blade have an aura here again. The third one for I uh, I told you till S one you should use all those combination only. And when S two start you should go for BQ, immortal. And in between you should use uh, like whatever you have either have it here again too. You can use in the <coughs> mid because they are also good. But at, and as S three starts you should go for origin blade. Then for last combination we haven't talked much about S four too. But let us talk about the last combination. So the last combination is like, guys, I have already told you, uh, Army Breaker, Son of Ragnar, and Avalanche. So guys, this was all for today video. We will meet again soon in a new video in which we will talk more more things, maybe about archers and footmen. Thank you guys. See you soon.